Nowadays, we still use medical treatments that were practiced thousands of years ago. The Egyptian civilization, in terms of medical interventions, was one of the best known and most advanced of its time. We can get a good impression of the great medical achievements of the ancient Egyptians by taking a closer look at the carved bas-relief on one of the walls of the Kom Ombu Temple. There are 48 surgical instruments that today's specialists have recognized as tweezers, scissors, scalpels, saws, or probes. It should be mentioned that in 2001, a 4,000-year-old tomb of a doctor was found with 30 different bronze surgical instruments, which he most probably used while practicing his profession. The ancient Egyptians were so progressive that both the Greeks and later the Romans used medical techniques originating from the ancient Nile Empire. Had the ancient Egyptians inherited some of their knowledge from a previous advanced civilization? Perhaps one of the medical interventions that best supports this theory is the performance of trepanation, the opening of the skull. This is an operation which we still don't know exactly what it was performed for. But the most incredible thing is that this has been practiced since the Mesolithic period. Surprisingly, 90% of these procedures were successful and the patient survived. Trepanations have been documented on almost all continents. A large number have been performed in Europe and South America, but also in countries such as Syria and Japan. The oldest remains of this practice have been dated to 12,000 years old. This is a period that coincides with the last great catastrophe taking place on Earth, erasing the great civilizations of the past. There is a surprising and unique example that speaks for the great surgical knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. In 1971, the Egyptian Museum Rosicrucian in California, USA bought two ancient Egyptian sarcophagi that were still sealed. When they were opened, only one of them contained a mummy. The first studies revealed that he was a red-headed man of the upper class. Recent studies have shown that this mummy is traced to the pre-dynastic Egyptians, a people with white or light skin. They had blonde or red hair and blue or green eyes. These characteristics are typical of the Nordic people, who were part of this ancient race and spread throughout the world. The name of the mummy was written on the coffin. It was called User Montu, which translated means the power of Montu. However, later investigations revealed that this mummy was not placed in there until later, and therefore it had not originally been his coffin. Not until 1995 did a team of scientists make an extraordinary discovery in the body of this mummy. It was evidence of an advanced surgical procedure performed at least 2,600 years ago. Thanks to an X-ray scanner, Professor C. Wilfred Griggs discovered something amazing. The mummy had a 23 centimeter long orthopedic metal screw in his left knee, which was done using a very similar biomechanical procedure that's common today. To determine the type of implant and to take samples, Professor Griggs drilled a hole in the bone, together with orthopedic surgeon Richard T. Jackson and chief radiologist E. Bruce McCliff. The examination confirmed that the screw dates from the same time as the mummy. In addition, it was found that the screw thread became narrower the deeper it penetrated into the femur thigh bone. This is a similar technique currently used in biomechanical procedures. At the end of the screw, which is anchored in the shin bone, three tabs protrude from its center. They provide great stability and prevent the leg from turning. That amazing artifact was attached to the bone by an organic resin, a product similar to the bone cement used today. Dr. Richard Jackson expressed his surprise at the results achieved. We're amazed at the capability of making metal implants, such as rigid bone fixation, with the biomechanical principles we use today. This goes beyond anything we could have expected from that time. This shows us that the ancient Egyptians had already used this type of intervention to combat bone fractures. In this case, however, the study showed that the screw was used after the death of user Montu, but before embalming. The ancient Egyptians prepared the body as well as possible for the journey to the afterlife, and for them it was very important to preserve the corpse in the best possible way. 
Such an implant to stabilize the leg to insert into the knee is really amazing because they could have simply held it together with bandages or fabric strips. Among other things, these finds show us that the medical knowledge of the ancient Egyptians must have been more advanced in antiquity than previously assumed.